He's nothing without Megadeth. I'm talking about Marty Friedman. The truth is genius virtuosos like Marty need structure to become palatable to the general population. If it wasn't for Megadeth, the chances are small Marty's brand would be as big as it is now. I mean, just look at classical music. It sells very poorly in comparison to pop. That doesn't mean that Bach writes inferior music to Cardi B. It just means Miss B appeals to a wider audience. So today, we're going to watch Marty Friedman Friedman play live. He's out on tour. He's got a song called Amagigo, performed at the Culture Room in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The date is March 4th, 2023. And right off the bat, I can see this video has 1K views uh, and one comment. Well, it says five comments, but there's four replies to one comment. Don't get twisted. I like playing fast and fancy licks too. But genius needs to be controlled. Learn how to shred with taste and appeal to a wider audience with my free guitar newsletter below. If you really want to get on brilliant musicians like Marty's level, check out my full music theory course. That's going to teach you songwriting, scales, chords, keys, and how those all fit together to create compelling music that moves people's emotions. Score yourself some WAP juice and let's get to it. Cheers to 69 grams protein per sip. Oh, oh, oh. Almost didn't make it there. All right, cans are going on. And we're going to see what Marty's got cooking here. Can he win the crowd with his crazy licks? Let's find out. Is he German? Who out there? Who's out there? Hear a lot of drums and bass in this mix. It's not the world's greatest mix. Right off the bat, Marty's playing notes outside the lines. These are exotic slash erotic scales and not the pentatonic scale. You're telling me there's more than pentatonic? This is instantly gonna get you canceled in music, at least when it comes to appealing to a wider audience. Sounds fantastic to my ears though, and I'm really excited to see what happens next. Marty's passion and presence in the moment is palatable. He is an incredible performer. Wow, that was cool. Man, that drummer is really giving 666%. Murray's got on like a sort of hippie modern art t-shirt. Whoa. Like a stairway to heaven line cliche. One thing's for sure, this music is not boring. What do we have back there? She playing a 12, 13 string space. Wow, it's tight. Amazing tone. That tone is huge. It's a lot bigger than this baby apple I have right here. Let me hear it. Let me hear your crowd. <laughs> you know what? That's more than 666%. That's 666.42069%. Also, I should mention Marty's hair is like its own entity. Yeah, 
fantastic grazing. There's that wine cliche again. I mean, has Marty lost any chops? Sure doesn't sound like it. He's been practicing fingering the G-string at least 69 hours per day. This guy really is an inspiration. Very smart thing he did, by the way, getting involved with Megadeth because there's just no chance in hell with all these fancy licks he would have gotten into the public eye otherwise. Marty knows all the scales. When you learn all the scales. <laughs> this is a German drummer, he's going for it. It's so tight. <laughs> this dude is amped up. Yeah, see, they're in like a little tiny club here. There's like 50 people. And he's got a second guitar player. Tiny stage. To me, Marty. Oh my. This sounds exactly like a John Petrucci lick from I want to say the album Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. Did you steal that, Marty? These guys practice a lot, I'm pretty sure. They're a very cohesive cohort. And the crowd goes wild. going. Don't you stop. <laughs> I think uh, the drummer just went Super Saiyan. Looks like Goku there at the end. Check it out. Super Saiyan. <laughs> almost sound like they were launching into a tornado of souls. Now don't get your panties in a bunch. I'm not saying music that isn't as widely consumed is of a lower objective quality. I'm just saying it's not as popular and it's an interesting question to consider why. Why do more people show up to a Cardi B show than this Marty Friedman performance? And maybe there's some of what Cardi B has that we can repurpose in our own metal community. As I said, you know, genius needs to be controlled to make it accessible. I'm gonna be real with you guys, like I'm inspired to practice after watching that. Really fantastic chemistry between the performers. 
I like to think of bands like Van Halen where that had mass commercial appeal. They're really serving the song, but Eddie obviously had these tremendous chops. Maybe there's a way we can have the best of both worlds here. Up your guitar skills with music theory and technique at my Patreon page below. You can work on your social skills in my Discord chat. This is where we all lose it as guitar players because we got bedroomitis. You know, we're always fingering the G string for 69 hours a day and we forget how to talk. Sometimes you got to open up your trap and let it out. Get it out. But I want to hear from you guys below. Should Marty Friedman's music be more popular than Cardi B's? Why isn't that the case? People just fucked. What's going on here?